Hey everyone, today we'll be talking about the ill-fated World Eaters, which ultimately came to a grisly end at the hand of their gene father Angron. I don't know about the rest of you, but I often feel bad for the World Eaters. The poor guys just wanted Angron to like them. Unfortunately, it seems like the psychers of the Legion might have copped a bit of that heat. As always, if you enjoy the video, give it a like and hit the sub button, it really does help us out. Before the World Eaters had found Angron and been renamed, they were previously known as the Warhounds. Like many of the Legions at the time, the Warhounds had a librarian division that consisted of the powerful and talented masters of the war, earning the respect of their brothers in their exploits prior to Angron joining the Legion. Once their gene father was found, the fall of their librarians had truly begun. Angron despised the Psyker and only just tolerated their presence. He was instinctively unnerved with their gift, and harboured a deeply rooted mistrust and feeling that the Legion would only be truly clean once all those with the power of Warpcraft were dead. However, this was not actually to do with the Psychers themselves. The Butcher's Nails that were implanted in Angron reacted terribly to any with a Psychic presence, causing the Primarch intense pain. Once the Edict of Nykeria had been put into place, the World Eaters refused to adhere to this as in reality the librarians had already become ostracised from their legion. Their brother's attitudes towards them had changed significantly. They spat on the floor to ward off ill fate when the librarians would walk by, and even leave when one would enter a room. It seemed that the slow degradation of the brotherhood between the librarian and the common world eater had begun to spiral. Once the butcher's nails had been reverse engineered and slowly replicated, versions of these were implanted within the world eater warriors. However, for the librarians, the nails didn't just enhance a warrior's rage, early side effects began to show. Librarians assigned to squads began to give their battle brothers blinding migraines and cause torrents of blood to pour from their faces. And in fact, those librarians that did decide to brave the presence of their gene father would only have the same fate occur to them. The same migraines and bleeds were awful. It was only when the Legion first joined battle with the newly enhanced Psychers that the real flaws truly shone. Some of the librarians had simply lost all ability to control their power over the warp, no longer able to exhibit any of their former mastery. One librarian in particular within the 100th company immolated three squads as unending witchfire poured from his eyes. This was only ended when his brothers gunned him down with their bolters to prevent further devastation. And whilst this was truly a terrible fate, it was perhaps not the worst. Other librarians simply began to burst into blazing tornadoes of gore, showering their brothers with their blood. Storms of lightning and fire could be conjured by the maddened psychers, and in one notable instance cause a massive brain hemorrhage and strokes within entire squads. Their attempts to balance the implant which had changed their very brain chemistry would fail. They would soothe themselves, saying that they would simply require willpower. They would plead to their brothers with desperate eyes that they simply would require willpower. But still, they continued to die. Eventually, their gene father gave them a choice. They would either remove the butcher's nail implants or be executed. However, every brother within the Legion knew that the nails could not be removed. To do so would be death itself. Even the Emperor's incredible Technomages had failed to remove the Primarch's own implants, and yet still the Librarians submitted themselves to the attempt and died in droves. None survived the attempts. Soon, some refused to put themselves through the treatment at all, and formed a small conclave within the World Eater flagship known as the Conqueror. Despite the best attempts of the Elder Librarians such as Vorius, Along with other resources, there was no resolution, and what followed was the complete degradation of any relationship between those that were gifted with psychic abilities and those that weren't. By the time of the Horus Heresy, 19 librarians remained, and had come together to form a tight kinship, sharing knowledge and power. They were a brotherhood again, and considered themselves the Warhounds once more. During the Shadow Crusade, the final remaining librarians met their end, as Gulliman and Angron faced off in single combat above the world of Nuceria. A blow from Gulliman smashed the skull of a fallen kinsman Angron bore on his chest, and trod on the skull fragments. Angron leapt at the Ultramarine Primarch. As the skull broke, Logar, the Primarch of the Wordbearers, felt a powerful rumble within the warp spill forth, and began to chant words that had never been spoken by a living being. 
summoning forth the rune storm to the world. Focusing the power on Angron, the Primarch became the focus of the Neverborn. The host of demons began to flood the Primarch and began his ascent into demonhood. The remaining librarians sensed this terrible tremor through the warp and attempted to halt Logar's plans. Harnessing their collected strength, they manifested a psychic entity known as the Communion. In the middle of Logar's incantations, they pulled the Primarch's soul from his body and engaged within a duel, with each declaring that they were the true saver of Angron, for the Butcher's nails implanted within the Primarch was slowly killing him. Ultimately, however, the Communion failed and were sent reeling back to their mortal forms. Once Angron had completed his metamorphosis, the newly born Demon Prince turned his attention to the meddling librarians and butchered them to the last. He'd finally expunged his legion of the psychic taint that had plagued them since their founding. The last fragment of the Warhounds within the Twelfth was finally gone. In summary, I think it's a really sad end for the final librarians of the Twelfth Legion. They remained loyal to their Gene father, who'd hated them from the beginning. What do you think would have happened if the Communion had won? Would the heresy have gone any different? Let us know in the comments below. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, please do drop us a like and subscribe. Cheers again.